A 15-year-old in Houston this year sucker punched his teacher for confiscating his phone after screaming, give me my phone. I told you to give me my fucking phone. So I know everyone probably isn't a huge fan of Bill Maher, but I challenge you to watch this video and tell me you don't agree that this is exactly why our country is going down the shitter. Hey Sprint, you may have a new spokesperson. In Florida, a high school student beat a teacher's aide unconscious for taking his Nintendo Switch. Hitting the teacher? I used to get sent to the principal's office for rolling my eyes. Go online. You can see endless videos of this stuff, of kids threatening and punching teachers. What is this, jet blue? <laughs> what have we let our schools turn into? As a father of five school-aged children, I can answer that. We have allowed our schools to turn into the biggest snowflake ever. A third of teachers in America say they've been harassed or threatened, and one in seven in this country has been physically attacked. 2023 kicked off with the story of a six-year-old boy taking a gun to school in Newport News, Virginia, shooting his teacher and then declaring, I shot that bitch dead which would be a cool last line for a Mickey Spillane novel. <laughs> but a six-year-old? The librarian at the school added some context to the story, saying, every day in every one of our schools, teachers, students, and other staff members are being hurt. Every day, they're hit, they're bitten, they're beaten. No wonder 50% of teachers express a desire to quit or transfer to something less dangerous, like walking Joe Biden's dog. <laughs> So if you don't agree so far, you probably have already moved on to the next video. I'm going to let the rest play through and not interrupt anymore. But I'm telling you, this is when it really gets good. And if you did stick around, please tell me what you think in the comments. The only way to fix our country is to have these discussions. A few weeks ago, some Oklahoma middle schoolers were acting up on the bus, so the driver pulled over and said he wasn't going to go anywhere until they quieted down. So the kids immediately obeyed because he was the adult. I'm joking, of course. <laughs> they went even more batshit. Sit down. No. Sit down. And when school officials reviewed video of the incident, all those kids were punished. I'm joking again. <laughs> of course, the kids were given counseling and the driver was fired, arrested, and charged with child abuse. And that is the root of our problem. Moms and dads used to have the backs of teachers and authority figures, but now their precious progeny can never do anything wrong, so it's made education impossible. But I know this, a teacher today looks out every morning and sees 25 phones distracting 25 kids, undeterred by any authority to pay attention or even be civil, and each kid represented by the high-powered legal defense team of mom and dad. No, I'm sure there are parents seeing this and saying, that's not us and this isn't our experience. True, not all schools are violent and scary, but they are all diploma mills that allow students to graduate without demanding the kids know basic shit. <laughs> 25 years ago, George W. Bush asked, is our children learning? <laughs> Well, it's only gotten worse. Only 33% of U.S. children can read at a level of proficiency. If you're attending an American high school now, that's about one-third. In 1970, only 2.7% of the kids who went to Catholic school were not Catholic. Now it's 22%. Yeah, Catholic school eighth graders are two full grade levels above public school kids because their school isn't a safe space for fucking off. They're told, no, you can't be on your phone here, and your pronouns are shut up and sit down. <laughs> How fucked up is this country that to get a no bullshit education now, you have to go to the place that's completely based on bullshit. <laughs> 
at Bill Maher's Catholic school, we do school old school. <laughs> with a curriculum called School Classic. Rule one, no phones. All day, no exceptions. <laughs> Not just so the kids aren't distracted when they're trying to learn, but also because it forces hovering parents to leave them the fuck alone for eight hours. You're the parent, not their probation officer. Other rules include no making up a disorder that allows your kid to get more time on the test. We call that by its original name, cheating. No participation ribbons, no turning in anything late, no vaping, no emotional support animals. And of course, if a student doesn't maintain a C average or higher, absolutely no sex with the teacher. 